It's a never seen before televised face off between India's best and brightest entrepreneurs. We are already 10 times better than Google Assistant and Apple Siri. Our jury is on the hunt for that one groundbreaking idea that will shake up the entrepreneurial landscape. Three revenue streams. No, sir, we have four. Let's just back up a little. No, 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 no. Don't give me a third answer. Your revenue model, in my opinion, is too complicated. With up to one crore rupees as seed funding, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity where ideas are assessed, empowered, and enabled to take off. And picking that winner are our three iconic judges. Raman Roy, the father of the Indian BPO industry and the founding member of one of the largest networks of angel investors in India. Anshu Dewan, a progressive thinker and a man whose entrepreneurial experience and passion is what leads the startup initiatives at the DS Group. And Vineet Nair, the former CEO of HCL Technologies, a restless and relentless innovator who has helped inspire millions. This is Pulse the Venture. In the previous episode, four dreamers came forth with four ideas. Davadigo is an on-demand And while one of them got incredibly close, alike. your business, your revenue model, in my opinion, is too complicated. No one was good enough to be ventured in. You are ventured out. Before the last set of contestants face the judges, there's some inspiration from Alok Kejriwal of GamesToWin.com. He is a hands-on digital entrepreneur whose goal is matching the great ideas with the best people. You have to keep growing. There is no point in your venture where you say, hey, this is enough. Please don't build businesses where you just think of growth and consumption and no revenue or no profitability. You must enjoy what you're doing. You know, you must have fun. You must feel like waking up for the next 30 years of your life and getting out there and doing it. This is not a two or three year job flip. This is a commitment of a lifetime. So enjoy what you're doing, make money at it and keep growing. And now it's time to bring all the nervous anticipation to the stage with the first aspirant, Manish. His product, Travio Soft, promises to wipe away all the woes that come with business travel and expense management at the press of a button. Hi, my name is Manish and I am from Traviosoft, which is an AI-driven, uh, fully automated cloud solution for business travel and expense management. Let's go to your system. Sure. I'm traveling, what do I do? I go Just to the log cloud. into the system, say I want to reach London by 10 a.m. on 25th of September. After that, I want to stay there till 27th of September. Click on the hotel icon, say I need a hotel there as well and the area that I, where I need the hotel. After that, you say, plan my trip. System goes ahead, figures out all the available flights, hotels, taxis, everything for you. And then keeping four things into mind, your company policy, your convenience, your personal preferences, and above all, cost. How do you ensure that the, your customer gets the best price? Our experience so far has been that our prices are very, very uh, comparable to the other sites. Let's assume that you have given me a budget. Right. So you've given me a hotel budget, you've given me this. It says that, okay, the whole trip will cost three lakhs or five lakhs. Okay, now what do I do? Yes, so when you say plan my, when you say submit, at this point, the system has automatically shown you the all the policy violations as well. So you as an employee still have a call to take whether I want to submit with these policy violations or I want to choose a different option. After that, it goes to the manager. The manager also once again sees as soon as the final approver approves it, the system goes ahead and automatically books the entire trip. While you're on the trip, just take out our mobile app, click the pictures of the receipts that you've got, and, they, and if you want, you can tag them to an open expense report, or just leave them, just click them and leave it. These receipts will get synced with our servers, with our system. The guy, when he comes back, now his expense report is automatically filled up. Who pays you? So it's a B2B solution we paid. We talk to the companies to sell the solution to them. If they buy 10 logins from me, they pay me for 10 logins. What investment are you seeking? What are you going to do with it? I need about two CR. 
I already have hotels and flights live. I need to bring on board now buses and taxis. Make sure you're solving the most important problem for your customer. So can you like address that concern by saying that we are going to be looking at the lowest cost from various search engines and then uh, do the filtering? Exactly, sir. That's exactly what I'm that? saying. I'm because you, you started your presentation saying we have tie up with one aggregator or whatever. As of now, now we have so one. Can you be flexible there like what Absolutely, uh, that's does, the whole plan, sir. So, no, I think it's very challenging. What you're is, doing is, is very, is very, very challenging. I have taken up a tall task. Yes, yes, by far. I agree with you, sir. Anyway, Manish, thank you, thank you thank so much. Thank you, thank, thank you, you very, very much for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. To be honest, a bit grilling. At some point, at one point, in fact, uh, it reminded me of my examination viva times, uh, where I was being grilled by the examiners. So it felt a bit like that at, at one point. But overall, it was a fine, good experience, I guess. It's a huge challenge. If you book your ticket through a travel agent, it is more expensive than booking through. Of course, because there's commission. And that is true with hotels. So that's the reason travel agents are going out exactly. of business. And he's trying to go inside this business. So to me, it's, it's... 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 The next contestant is Dr. Pankaj Parashar with his product, Skintiglo. This smart point-of-care diagnostic device aims to provide a rapid and reliable solution to detect proteins in urine. Hello judges, I'm Dr. Pankaj Parashar. Hi Pankaj. I represent here Cutting Edge Medical Devices Private Limited. It's a medtech startup company. It's being incubated at IIT Delhi. The product we are here with is uh, related to the condition called as protein urea, where proteins are present in the urine. Normally they are not, uh, not present in a healthy condition, but when they are present, they are a telltale sign. Many conditions like hypertension, diabetes, heart diseases. As per WHO, there are uh, more than 31.7 crore patients in India. And how the condition is being managed today? They manage through these dipsticks. As per literature, they have an accuracy and repeatability of only 64%. So we come up with a smart point of care diagnostic device. We call it as Centiglo, in which you just require 2 ml of uh, patient's urine put uh, a, f a few drops of known uh, drops of five drops of reagent mix it place it in the device put patient id we have linked the patient id even up to aadhar press enter 2 seconds you get the results so what is the price of that uh... so the device would cost somewhere around 10000 and the reactant cost uh... that uh, actually these uh, Qets that we are talking about, these are the only consumables. The test on our device would cost only 5 rupees. For Have you done any pilots with any of the large government hospitals? Uh, sir, we are, uh, we are in talks aims. with uh, the government of Madhya Pradesh. We have been uh, fortunate to get an initial piloting permission. So what do you want to use the 1 crore for? First, develop into a final product. Second, we have to uh, go through strict quality assurance process because the device has to ISO 13485 then CE certification. One could change gears, which can tell us why are you sweating so much? <laughs> <laughs> are you nervous? Yeah. No, no, I'm not nervous. Let's assume that your test results show positive. Yes, sir. What do I do? Yeah, then you have to go to a doctor. And the doctor, can he prescribe the medicine without the further tests? Is there this 100% uh, guarantee that if there is protein in the urine, something must be wrong yes. with you? Yes, that's the only thing. It's, an, it's a screening device. Yes. That, is that answering your question yeah. then? Right? It's a screening device. If you get protein in urine, is it indicative of ill health for sure? Some. Sure. If it is above 2 milligrams per 100 ml, it's for sure. I don't buy that argument, but I would need research paper on... Sure, sir, I can share, I can share, sir. This, what is the cost of the strips? Sir, the strips Nothing. from good brands cost around 6 rupees per piece. So your product is cheaper. cheaper than that. Sir, one thing more, and they start detecting at 30 milligram per 100 ml, and we are detecting at 2 milligrams per 100 ml. Okay. Can you just tell me this is a AIMS document because it doesn't have AIMS? No, sir. No, this sir. is your Actually, own sir, internal sir. document. This is my document because these are only so the results. So has AIMS issued a certificate sir, on validity? Sir, we are going to publish a paper because... When is that expected? Sir, paper has been written. So is there a person in AIMS we can make a phone call who yes, validates this yes. argument? Okay. Thank you so much. We had a good discussion. The judge is a little bit grilled, but it was rest of the time it was good. They understood the project and they were interested in the right aspect of the project. They were going what direction that we had been discussing things on. It was, it was well, it was good. 
So when you come Coming to up, starting up of home daycares, we two ideas for the urban life, services. ensuring safe childcare. But I've still not understood what are you doing. And what healthy are living. There that this works. Uh, you just saw a video. No, don't no, forget the video. Next in line is Nanda Krishnan, whose Kitty Cloud service promises to safeguard our children through quality childcare. My name is Nanda Krishnan and I am the co-founder for Kiddy Cloud. At the crux of it, we are an aggregator for daycare facilities and on-demand daycaring. So we see that in uh, urban centers, there are thousands of new parents. They are faced with a major dilemma, who will look after the baby? They have to depend upon other sources like a household help, a loyal which is very difficult to obtain, or a daycare facilities. And when you look at the daycare industry, we see that there's a lot of information asymmetry. It's too disorganized. The parents find it very difficult to actually get a reliable daycare. We believe that our idea can actually put an end to this dilemma. What's your revenue model? Number two, how do you certify that the household in which I'm going to send my child, the child is not going to be mistreated? Do you take guarantee or how so, does that happen? Basically, we have two forms of revenue. First is the commissions that we get from every child that is going to a particular daycare through us. So the average charges varies from 7,500 to 15,000 depending upon whether it's a home daycare, it's an established daycare, etc. So we are exactly planning to charge about 5 to 10 percentage depending upon uh, our uh, the daycares. So the parent will pay you or will it be from the... So the payment will be to the daycare and the commission will come from the daycares to us. Okay. Okay, so when we look at the present scenario, we see that there is no transparency in the system. The employees are not properly trained. There is no on-demand daycaring which is available currently. What we are doing to when we are uh, tying up with a home daycare, we give them a six-week training for each of these uh, household lady who's going to start it with a pediatrician. What does pediatrician got to do with daycare? So we can actually create a nutrition plan for the baby depending upon how uh, old the baby is from three months, like six months to 12 years. We will make so, sure that this adult to uh, child ratio is maintained in these daycares okay. and that we are actually in plan to install a CCTV in every one of these daycares okay. so that the uh, parents can actually see the videos. How much revenue are you going to get? What? How many daycares? centers do you need so, to get to that revenue and what are you going to do with one crore? So we actually chartered out a plan for five years. So in five years, we are actually planning 30,000 kids to be brought under the kiddie cloud. So how much will you make out of a daycare per month? Per month, actually, we are like a, per, uh, a daycare can have five to ten kids. Let's say ten kids so, and an average income of 10,000 and then five percent of that will be our revenue for monthly. So I, I'm a little confused. So as to what you're trying to be. So when you come to starting up of home daycares, we will be actually providing sort of like a consultancy services. We will not be actually... You, uh, you just added consulting to it now. So no, no, I'm just telling that we will not be giving them the capital to start their own daycares. Basically, now there is a lot of government uh, loans that can be taken that is actually concentrated at women entrepreneurship. Women can, when yeah. starting a daycare, can actually take these loans for the capital. So we are not providing that capital. Are you a parent? I'm not a parent. You're not a parent. He's still How young, many of yeah, your co-founders are parents? Four of us are not parents. <laughs> he looks happy that he's not married. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you All so the very much. best. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you, sir. So I think I was able to convey the idea, but I feel that a couple of judges were interested, but uh, again, I think the whole crux of it was not totally communicated. Uh, there is a couple of points I could have added on to it. And now, it's time for Raghav Gupta of Nimble Labs to crystallize his dream into a presentation that will convince and win over the judges. But first, he's up for some teasing by the panel. Good afternoon, all. So, hi, my name is Raghav. Raghav, I'm I have a question for you. Before I start? Yes. Yes, please go on. You are 23, you look handsome, you have such a lovely smile. Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, I would not like to say that on stage. <laughs> <laughs> so that means you're looking out. <laughs> go ahead, Raghav. So, hi, uh, I'm Raghav. I'm one of the co-founders at Nimble Labs, where we are making everyday eating uh, conveniently possible for you. There does not exist a convenient way for young working professionals in fast-paced cities to eat truly healthy, preservative-free food every day. Cooking oneself is the most healthy option, but at the same time takes time and effort. For that generation, we're building Julia. 
Okay. Your own personal robotic cook. Julia helps you and your family eat fresh home cooked food on the days you don't feel like cooking with ingredients that you have control on. Julia can cook most one pot meals like Indian sabzis, Asian curries, stir fries, Chinese noodles, pastas, and much more. All you need to do is log into the Nimble app, choose a recipe, order in ingredients from one of our grocery partners, prepped and chopped, get them seamlessly delivered to your doorstep, feed them into Julia, tap cook, and sit back and relax while Julia cooks a fantastic meal for you. It takes care of your personal taste using a combination of sensors, actuators, and learning algorithms. What are the difference between cooking on a pan where I can see with my eyes that you know it's cooked because I have to cut my own vegetable. What is the sensor doing? Uh, you do not have to cut your own vegetables. Okay. Uh, you can order in ingredients right from uh, one of our partners or use pre-cut ingredients. They are sure. on the rice. But I've still not understood what are you doing. At this space, there are macro ingredients like tomatoes, onions, a um, whole lot of beans. Uh, at the top, we have spice cartridges. So spices are dispensed according to your taste. So Julia ensures when what ingredient is added in the cooking based on when the recipe. When what is added, for how much uh, time, what amount of heat is provided, it is stirred continuously, that is also ensured. Okay, let's talk about your revenue model, costing, marketing plan. We would be earning one-time revenue uh, from uh, sale of the appliance, which shall be priced at $300 and upwards. We have done our uh, cost analysis with Bosch as part of the accelerator. We know what a plastic so Bosch part would manufacture it? Uh, no, so Bosch does not engage with startups very early on directly. They have engaged us and will be moving uh, with us during Series B, B if they find it promising. Who would manufacture this? We would manufacture it uh, using our uh, So you can use partners. contract manufacturers yes. to do it. You don't have to set up manufacturers. Yeah, right, so, right. What is your go-to-market strategy? So A, we are gradually building an online community for people to stay engaged so that when we go for our pre-sales campaign, we have enough customers. What proofs are there that this works? Uh, you just saw a video. No, don't forget the video. Is somebody certified that it works? Um, yes, Can you so make a dozen dishes? Is it for real? We have cooked five dishes so far. So at the Bosch Accelerator, uh, they have 20,000 employees. During lunch, we just switch the machine on and people start and have tasting sessions and they validate that so they really like Bosch the food. Issues, issued you a certificate that this works? I do not have a certificate, but I have a product right in front of you okay. that I can, so can demo uh, if we get through the, uh, you know, outside of the stage. Thank you, Raghav. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm very enthused with what you've got yeah. moving here. Uh, Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. Bye. The entire session went very well with the jury. They were really impressed by what we were doing. They really liked the problem, the solution, uh, the kind of solution we were proposing and our understanding of our target market. Uh, so I'm very happy with the presentation that happened today. Coming up. Time for the final... Uh, decision time awaits decision. as the judges it? pick ideas with so the wow the factor and announce who gets the ventured in. The potential, the market. My only feedback is you need to communicate your idea better. Entrepreneurs are ready to face their final fate. Who will get closer to the winning post and who will be ventured out? Well, welcome back, guys. Thank Time you. Time for the final uh, decision. Ready for it? Yes, sir. Absolutely. You think you know which way it's going to go? I think so. Oh, all right. So, Manish, as we looked at it, uh, we were very excited about the potential. The market that you're addressing is huge. And uh, we think that there is opportunity for you to work a little more. Dr. Pankaj Prashad. Sir. We would want you to think more carefully about the infrastructure investment and how that is going to pan out and how 10,000 rupees is going to translate into a five rupee. Think carefully about that. I understand that, sir. Nanda. Yes, sir. My only feedback is you need to communicate your idea better. Try to use analogies, like, you know, you're the OYO for take care. So, you know, people are familiar with OYO, the, the standardization. That part should come out very clearly in the beginning itself. Yes. Okay. Raghav. Yes. Perhaps the youngest in the lot. We think it's a great potential. We think 
your market identification, your need identification, your sizing of the product, all of that is great. So and the final stage, which way do we go? Manish, well, as I said, we think it's a huge opportunity. You have ventured out of the next stage. So Dr. Pankaj Parashar, so you said when you presented that you were a little nervous, you were sweating. I see you're not sweating anymore. <laughs> so maybe you already know something that I don't know. That's why you are not sweating. No, it's just a few minutes. That's it's why. It's just a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dr. Pankaj Parashar, you have ventured in. Nanda. Yes, sir. We were very excited about the idea. We do think there is some more incremental development uh, that is required on it. So at this point of time, you have ventured out. So Raghav, that leaves you. The jury deliberated. The jury spent a lot of time in, in what you had to do. We enjoyed what you had to make. But where do you think you stand? Well, the smile on my face tells me I might be in. Well, you have a right to smile, uh, Raghav. You are in. Thank you. Thank you very much, folks. You all, all guys. Two entrepreneurs and, and their dreams winners. move closer to the winning post and two return home. But they are all winners thanks to the insights and experience they've received today only on Pulse the Venture. Okay. So now it's the time to prove Our test, top right? six so get ready to go into the battle zone as they test their products in the real world. It's a lot of scope for my device to. Uh, try to these patients and save their lives. Our device can detect all the Which ideas will reach the final? Find out only on Pulse the Venture.